Okay, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to submit things from Onshape for 3D printing. So when you're in your file, in this situation here, I have my keychain that I've created, and I'd like to send it over uh, for 3D printing, submit it. So I'm going to go down to the bottom of the screen here on the left-hand side where it says Part Studio 1, and I'm going to right-click on Part Studio 1, and I'm going to select Export you'll get this pop-up that shows up. The very first thing you should do in the file name is name it the color you want it to be printed in. For example, I'll choose blue, and then the mods that your class is in. So for example, I'll just use one through three, okay? It does help to put your last name in there too, but the most important things are the color and your mods, okay? And so then uh, you're going to want to make sure that this file format, you're going to want to make sure you go all the way to the bottom and select this STL file because that's the file extension that the 3D printer will read and understand. Also, make sure that this is in millimeters. Okay, millimeters. Sometimes it defaults in inches, and you got to make sure that it's in millimeters. Other than that, you just need to hit OK at the bottom. When you hit OK, you'll notice that it opens up in your downloads, okay? Uh, I'm going to hit save. And then you're going to click show in folder when it shows up at the bottom of the screen. Show in folder. And what you need to do at this point is take that file that shows up and you need to click on it and drag it down into your Google Drive. Once you drag it down into your Google Drive, at that point, you can go into our Google Classroom and turn in this assignment into your, into your class. And I'll show you. Okay, so once you drag that into your drive, then you can go into your Google Classroom and find the assignment for the particular 3D print project that you're working on. In this case, it's the keychain. So this one says keychain on shape turn in. You click on there. Okay, and then you will submit your work uh, just like you would any other assignment, but just make sure that it uh, looks like this. That way I know it's the STL file. It's got the color, the mods, and it is an STL file, so it all should work out just fine. And it's that simple. Good luck. See you next time.